Oh, she's a gal for me, boys. Roll, boys, roll, boys, roll. Oh, Sally Brown, she's a gal for me, boys. Way high, Miss Sally Brown. It's off to have a fellow see Sally Brown, boys. Roll, boys, roll, boys, roll. It's off to have a fellow see Sally Brown, boys. What is that? Way high, Miss Sally Brown. Oh, it looks like we've got company up here. Always a great time. Ish. Hello. Die, so I can take your stuff. You know, you two have picked a very interesting fight, haven't you? Maybe I won't. Eh, you started this. Well, great. <laughs> this is what I get. The well-cultured it. Right. This is what I get for starting things, or for singing things, on the road. Those two aren't coming down here. Oh boy. Right. You folks just... I... I do have a couple. Well, this is, uh, look, I don't really have time for any of you today. Ouch. I'm just going to move on. Bye. Oh. Yeah, look at her. Oh, running away. It would be a beautiful day in whatever. Uh. Oh, sheesh. Alright. It's a big place. I don't want to tangle with that today. Let's stay on the road. Don't get lost. Ooh, right. That was a lot. <laughs> Nothing like being jumped by bandits. I wonder what that is up there. <laughs> Not my business, probably. Yeah. Scavengers, probably corpses around somewhere. Wow. It's quite green around here. Wow, look at her. White run. Must be. Oh, it's what a beauty she is. Beautiful. Right, so I'm looking for a few things. The Bennett Mare and a Honey Brew Meadery, right? And one Melis Malchius? Or whatever his name was for a job for Maven. Hello. Oh, and I've got something for Vex. Uh, what do I have to get? What was it? A ship statue. Ship model. Something like that. From... Uh, whatever her name was. Valentia. Kind of, oh, something like that. Don't you even think about it. I suspect. I'll know her when I see her. 
the question is, uh, of course is which one do I want to do first I think first thing I want to do like a smart pirate is case the joint I'm not sure which one yet one of them one of the joints I will case it so oh all right so this is the meter -y. now if Carlotta Miss Valentia whatever her name is is a working sort in spite of the fact that it is midday oh ew, dusty in spite of the fact that it's midday it's probably going to be easier what in the crap happened there well that's taken care of no thanks to you right oh, I'm just passing through madam I'll take my leave then yeah that's what I figured um right if she's a working lady she's probably going to be out here or somewhere and not at a house assuming that she's keeping the ship model in her house that would be my guess anyway hey nice place aside from the dust oh look at this Khajiit merchants. Nice. Between the war and the return of the dragons, I wonder if we should not leave Skyrim and ply our trade elsewhere. I admit, the dragons are a concern. Uh -huh. Right, so... So the Khajiits have seen dragons. I've not seen nor heard scale nor tail of any dragons and I'm beginning to think that oh wow what's that up there I'm beginning to think that they're just making it up or maybe getting confused or something like that I don't know right We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Alright, so this is an Imperial town. Of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help. Oh. <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Bloody beautiful, isn't it? Besides, oh, I love this. Nice warm day. Reminds me of home a little bit. Uh, not it. Eh, uh, excuse me. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Oh, nice. Uh, you look to become a. I? Just because I'm a grey mane doesn't mean I can't earn my Farewell. own Farewell. I didn't mean. I'm sorry I asked. Uh. Right. Um. I'm looking for. Uh, if you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. I I don't think so. Right. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard is the worst. Is someone getting you? Uh, giving you trouble? That bard oh. Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. Had of I heard him foul. boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. 
<laughs> right, what if I talk to him about that? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. I don't know. My my fists have Remember, gotten through a couple of skulls. Vegetables every day. Right. I've got no idea. Who I'm supposed to be looking for. That might have been her. This might have been her. I'm not sure. Right, wasn't I supposed to meet... Be glad you're Melissa here? Wow, everyone talking at the same time. Sure. Love it. Welcome. You know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Eee, right. Okay, so that's the bard. So, I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. No, uh, well, I've heard of you. I've heard you've given this lady out there uh, a bit of a, you know, need to hire some muscle. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. Oh, you're gross. All right, leave her alone. Or else, you get to deal with me. Oh, hey there. I didn't mean to make you upset. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me again. Good. Good. Of course. It's the leaving that's hardest, I know. Not interested. Let's see here. I don't know him back here. Mikhail's son. How about something with a bitter kick? Well, I was thinking maybe something mournful. A high elf dirge, perhaps. These are rather trying times, after all. You trying to scare off my customers, son? Lively. Keep it lively. I could teach that man something about music. About you know, you kind of look like I a... Hey, Melis Marcius? Yes, Mum. Are you the one I'm looking for? Can't a man drink in peace? Maven said you're expected me. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Oh. Hunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold, hold a tasting thought, for White you Run's drink? captain of the guard. Uh, we're going to poison the meat. No, just uh, could you give us some privacy, please? Now, Suit please. Yourself. No more questions. Right. Sorry about that. Uh, from the top. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's captain of the guard, and we're going to poison the mead. Oh, that's what you said. I'm going to assume you have the poison because I d do. I look like someone who carries a lot of that on me. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? Oh, indeed. Right, how do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Clever, I think. And, uh, they, they sent the strong arm on this, uh, this little mission for a reason, I suspect. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Aye, aye. Uh... Right. There's got to be a reason behind all this, right? So what's the, uh, what's the background? But assuming everything goes to plan, we don't have to worry about this, but if something goes to plan, how do I make sure that... If, if something doesn't go to plan, rather, how do I make sure that we get whatever needs to happen in happening? I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. 
I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. There's more to this than a debt, though, isn't there? If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Savjorn ends up in jail, she's gonna take over his meadery. And guess who gets to run the Blackbriar meadery in Whiterun? You're looking at him. Right, so... The uh, underlying theme of all this is put Savjorn in jail. Got it. Think I can do that. Probably. Remember, Savjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. She's been spying on this this whole time, hasn't she? <laughs> right, anyway. Foolish old kid. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. Oh, jeez. What of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? We're just going so to leave them alone. Fresh from the wilds. Right, Kalota. Right fruit and fresh vegetables and for sale. Such Straight the from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. So, Mikhail won't be bothered you anymore. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I hope so. I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Thanks you, uh, thanks you. Yes, thank you so much, and uh, good luck. Remember, I have fresh food and vegetables every day. He's my prisoner. Face it, Cal. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm of bread and stew. Had enough and you? fish and fowl. I'm gonna Best get out of here. You can pull the choice cut of steak. Come on, father. Rack of There's nothing more to be said here. Today, That's right. Mock the town beggar like everyone else. Now, if only they had some way to uh, mock these houses. Probably going to be one that's locked up now. I'm just going to snoop around here while everyone is sort of uh, busy out there. There aren't any more back here. Well, if there are, I will come back and check them. See? Hello. I'm waiting. Nah, I'm, I'm just being paranoid. All those talk of dragons have me looking at these banners like... Oh. Hello. Uh. Right, anyway. Oh, they've got a little stable back here. Eh, right, this could be something of, an something of an adventure. Hello. We've got some sort of apiary situation out here. Maybe she lives on the other side of town, eh? Oh. Uh. Sorry. Took a wrong turn. Oh, wow. Well. Kind of a sizable city. Sort of makes sense. To rule the realm of spirit. The very idea is inconceivable. I know your family's well, honor is important well, to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's death. I can't stop now. I, and I can't get the sword on my I don't own. have any money. You better so give me five seconds right now. I'm gonna bloody to reclaim some. Looks like a graveyard of some sort. What do we got back here? Oh, this is probably all over rich people.
No, I... Eh, probably nothing. Up here? Although... Potentially good targets for theft if I ever have to come back and do a bit of mischief. Oh, there we are. That one's locked. I mean, they're both locked, but... Oh. Right, so now I just need a way in. And it looks like it's going to be through the front door. That figures. Right, we're just going to be quick about it then. Is anybody home? We're just going to be stealthy. Anyway, no we're not. Who am I kidding? There's no one home. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh. Quickly, 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 before someone comes home. Oh, there she is. And away we go. Easy. And now we'll just get out of town. You already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for Right, I'm not getting involved with... Wow. Who is that? So that's beautiful. Blinding a little bit, but beautiful. Oh, jeez. Look what that is all the way in the distance there. Who knows? Wow. So, Somerset Skyrim. Absolutely gorgeous. Golden hour. Wonder what they're all excited about. Although, I suppose they do farm, like, wheat around here, I think. Right. I saw a wheat field, didn't I? Alright. So they... Oh, look at all that. Probably just around here to help clear out the... Uh, the chef. As it were. Right, let's get going. Well, I don't really need to be... Sprinting. Drawing more attention to myself. That's a beautiful horse. Not like I do much riding, but still. Yep, people turning in for the night. Probably high time. High time that I go see this Sabion fella. Wow. The sun sets in white run and everything turns just orange. Sort of a golden colour. Well, it doesn't look like this place is particularly popular. Even all the grass around here. Jeez.
so, uh... Right. <laughs> what are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? I, I think I'm gawking at your problem. I take it something's a little bit amiss around these parts. Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Right, I might be able to help with it. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Oh, no, no, that's fine. It's the only way I operate. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. No, 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 you misunderstand. You pay me when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. Alright, and how do you suppose I do that? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Alright, you've got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Alright. You mentioned someone named Malice? Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Oh, right, right, right. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Yep, yeah, you do that. I'll just, uh, deal with the skeevers. Oh, he's a rot bastard, he is. Wonder how much of this I could sell. The good stuff. Cause you know You're supposed to like pay the people who are working for you. What was this? Oh, <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if the people who read that particular book have ever actually met an Argonian. This is an interesting place. Because, you know... Oh, hello. Is that your own? Something, something. Oh, I see. She's it's sort of... What's in here? Absolutely nothing. You get closed. How am I always the slow in lockpicks? Look, I can't help myself. Crap. I know that I'm supposed to be clearing out skeevers, but... Savio pisses me off. There's not even anything in here. Alright. Some nice boots. Anyway. Right. I've worked with Argonian crewmates before. I have seen Argonians in various states of dress and undress. And frankly. It's a... Uh... <sighs> oh, 
Anyway. Joke's on him. Hello. Ouch. Oh, oh. Yuck. So they've been in some... Some prep, haven't they? Oh, you got... Hit by that trip. What is this? Oh, spigots. Don't need spigots. Ow. You know... I could have done that better. Oh, I'm guessing there's spiders around. Hello! Alright. Hello. You grody little buggers. I'm too tall for these little caves. Ugh. Oh, there they are. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, big nasty one. Delicious. Disgusting. Spiders. Alright, spiders. Why does this look like a trap? This looks like something that someone would use for cover. So, uh... Oh, well. See, I was expecting someone to be, like, hiding behind this barrel or something. I was just gonna rush up and, you know, <gasps> like him. A... Guess no. Ah. Ow. It's the first time one of those have actually gotten me, I think. <laughs> the cover was the distraction. The mace was the real threat. These little bastards. I had magic. Oh, I did. Yes, I did. Hi. Oh. <laughs> What's the hurry, he says. The hurry is to get out of the way of your... F your fireballs, sir. Whoa. All right. Look at this man! What a crap! Just some bastard hoarding things down here. Can I carry all of this? <laughs> My god! I don't even know how to use most of this. What is... Whoa! That one looks like it might come in handy. I think I'm going to put that one on. He has four of them! What the crap? What? <laughs> so not only... Oh god, it's dark in here. Hang on. So not only... Was this man, uh... Right, what was he doing? Because he had a journal. This bastard. Uh...
so it looks like this interesting fella was going to go to war on Whiterun with an army of skeevers because that makes sense and he was going to do it with a horde of all of this right I don't think I can actually carry all of this take that sure Maybe I'll just take one of each. How did he come by all of this anyway? And it's all super light, so in theory I could take, like, most of it. However, I'm not sure how much of this I want out. You know, that's a good eye. Uh, mm. There's a lot of this. I'll take those. A lot of these that I don't really want out in the world, you know? Because if someone gets their hands on, like, this. Like, what? <laughs> right, 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 right. Let's see. Uh, I might hang on to that one. Don't need that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. Nope. Uh, that could come in handy. Rally. Nope. That could be bad. I don't know about that one. That one's probably not great. I don't even know what that does. Oh, yeah. That's probably not good to have around. Nope. Uh, nope. Keeping that one because I'm interested in it. That one is fine. And of course the fins one, which frankly Ooh. Oh, I could outfit my crew with some of these. That's not a bad idea. Scorching hands I don't really want on a ship. There. Well, thank you, Mr. Hamlin. You have outfitted my crew and also me. I just need to figure out how to actually use these. Right, I'm supposed to poison the nest. Probably that. Eh. Uh. Oh, can I do this one handed? Oh, come on. Come on. I can do it one handed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> after everything I found, that he was. Hoarding. I'm not surprised they only have one gold in that chest. That was oh, a lot out. Uh, right. Torches and alcohol. Probably not a good thing to have in combination. I can't believe how long it took me just to deliberate that. It's probably the middle of the night. I could have just done this and, and moved right along. Right, uh, which vet? 
Yeah, it's a, at least it's warm in here. It's probably that one. Oh, hi, you can see the stars through the roof because that's environmentally sound. Gonna get rained on. Right, which one of you opens? Which one of these? Hello. Look, I can't help it. Eh. Probably wasn't worth it. That one. Close. Oh, it's stuck. Well, that's going to be... Unfortunate. There we are. Okay, job done. Job done. What run by night? Actually brighter out than it was down in the caves, which I appreciate. Greetings. Oh, hello. Right. Was something we discussed unclear? Uh, nope. As you can see, I'm covered in it. It's, uh, it's done. It's fine. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. Eh. And my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Eh, yeah, right. So now we wait. It's fine. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look. I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move! <laughs> oh, jeez. Farewell, Sabjorn. You might want to follow the man. You look mighty, uh... pukish. So, uh, Melis. Did you do that yourself? I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? Well, uh, I was poking around upstairs, but I don't know where Malis, uh, Sabjorn's books are. Can you point me in that direction? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. In his desk. Right, uh... So, couple of things. I, su I suppose that what I did was just sort of making sure that any further investigation turns up that he made an error and that you did that yourself because there's absolutely no way that that happened as fast as it did. Uh, also, you never mentioned a lunatic in the tunnels? I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Ah, right. No, it was fine. It was worth it. Uh, surprising what someone like that can uh, accu 
a crew over a, a while, I suppose. So what you gonna do now? You gonna turn this place into the uh, the next Blackbriar establishment? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Oh, uh, thank you. That's good to know. Right, I will leave you to your... Operations. Probably dump that in the vat that I just poisoned as soon as possible, aye? Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. I will do my best. If I remember. Right. And his office is probably upstairs where I was poking around earlier. Right? Or it's in there. I'm not actually sure. Oh, right. The answer is yes, because that is where the stairs are. I didn't check his desk, did I? Unless it's the one next door. Right, did I miss something? Probably missed something. Oh, I definitely missed something. Thank you, Malice. Uh, right. I've got that so stuck in my head. His office is next door, isn't it? I can't believe that worked. I neither can he. Uh, neither can I. Neither here. Right. Don't say anything. I can't believe that worked. All right, you can say that. That's fine. Okay. Where have I not checked? Or have I just walked completely just right by it? And not actually looked. Desk. Where is his desk? Am I just an idiot? Oh. It's probably this. The one thing in this room that I didn't actually check. Right. Who... Eh... And it's not signed. Except with that little dagger thing. Well, someone in Riften. Unfortunately, probably. Ish, I think. Someone in Riften. Because Riften's the only place that I've seen with daggers. As a, uh, sigil. So, now what? Now I think we go find an inn. Bunk down for the night. Go back to Riften in the morning. Found it. <laughs>